Hello there, folks. Just wait for the, uh, the injector to... Oh, no, it's bleeding steam. Anyway, sorry, got sidetracked. Uh, welcome to another train simulator video. Uh, today, doing something a little bit different, as I don't normally cover steam. I love steam engines as, as much as the next uh, person that's, you know, into railroading and trains and locomotives and whatnot. But I cannot operate them in train simulator uh, the way they should be operated anyway um, surely I'm, I'm gonna blow one of these up but anyway this is a new pack from uh, machine rail the guys that are that are kind of one and the same with a diesel workshop that produced the Alco RS threes as of late um, kind of the same group um, same guys if I'm not mistaken uh, do a lot of the modeling and you know the physics and, and sounds and all that good stuff but um anyway they just released these and i thought i'd take a look at them because they're pretty cool engines uh they look highly highly detailed they're narrow gauge and least but uh not least um well not least that's that's a bad choice of word uh something to run on clear creek finally because the the clear creek um, map in itself is really cool. I like the time period and the area and whatnot, but the rolling stock is always kind of lagging or, uh, you know, lagging behind the map in itself, which seems like, you know, to be the case with a lot of train sim stuff, sadly. Anyway, Machine Rail made these. They just released, I believe, yesterday. Um, of course, they're narrow gauge, so it's three foot. You're going to get four units, which is number 71. Uh, and a fictional blue, number 71 in the original, uh, number 72 with a Congdon stack, and a number 110 with a straight stack. Uh, they're 3D mesh to scale, original blueprint specs. Uh, you get external and internal uh, animations, realistic water and fire consumption, authentic sounds, authentic cab, all working lights, animated smoke box door, which is pretty cool. Uh, the, the handle for that is in the cab. I'm just going to preface give a little information here and then then we'll get into the meat of the uh, subject here uh, it's got a modulated whistle uh, apparently digital traction and steam sound supreme helped with the sounds and Caledonia works help with the particle uh, animation but uh, you also get two scenarios so you're gonna get two scenarios for clear Creek as well which I didn't even realize until I loaded it up in the game and I just happened to see them so you're gonna get two very lengthy scenarios uh, for Clear Creek, which of course you will need separately. All this for $12. 12 US dollars. It's, uh, that's, that's a pretty good steal. So, anyway, a little bit of history about these engines. They are the Denver South Park and Pacific Railroad. It was a historic three-foot narrow gauge. Uh, 19th century Colorado opened up the first rail routes to the central Colorado mining region during the mining boom. Uh, it was founded in 1872 by the then governor John Evans, as a governor of Colorado, the state in which it's in. Uh, Union Pacific purchased the DSP and P in 1880, but they continued to operate independently. Um, bankruptcy finally hit in 1889, and it then became the Denver, Leadville, and Gunnison Railway. Um, about halfway through the 20th century, sadly, all the rails were converted to standard. Boo. You know, regular four foot, eight and a half inch gauge. Uh, the last train to run on the old DSP and P lines was from Como, Colorado in 1937. Uh, there is a section that remains between Leadville and Climax as a passenger excursion. So like a, you know, a heritage train, um, which would be pretty cool to see and ride on. Uh, but they once had 335 miles of uh, narrow gauge trackage which was the largest in Colorado ever or at the time if I'm not mistaken so pretty big deal now the company that built this uh, was Danforth and Cook Loco Works they're located in Patterson New Jersey they began operations and building locomotives in 1852 they eventually merged with the Great Alco in 1901 the last locomotive built was in 1926 making over 3,000 locomotives in total that says a lot, you know, especially back in the day. That's, that's quite a few. Um, the DSP&P 
was between 1874 and 1899. Its numbers were 39, 40, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, and 74. And then they were renumbered. This is one of the renumbered uh, units which we have here, 110. Number 74 was the last locomotive purchased by the DSP&P. All right, enough yakking. Let's check this thing out. It, it's not lacking in the detail department, not by a long shot. Now, I'm I'm going to fail pretty pretty hard at this. I'm I'm not that into steam stuff like i said but you know these were narrow gauge they're american but i figured what the heck these guys make some pretty good stuff so i'm gonna take a look at it this of course is the uh, straight stack version so this was this was later uh in their life here the headlight as with a lot of their stuff machine rail diesel workshop looks phenomenal very nice very realistic look you know, up close and and far off. It doesn't have that, like, crazy glare like you're using a, a camera with a, you know, mega zoom on it. Uh, it's, it's just really detailed. Smokestack looks nice. Check out the bell. Yeah, this... They <laughs> they do not lack when it comes to modeling these guys. Machine, uh, machine rail and diesel workshop. Oy, steam chest. They got their little uh, plaque on there, which is pretty cool. Thanks, Sharp, man. Wait a minute. Are we rolling? Yes, we're rolling backwards. Although that's just a thing in train sim that happens. Always be moving. Valve gear looks all nice. Look how just gritty and slimy and greasy all that is. Dang, that looks really nice. That looks really nice. All right, we're going to see this this Betty in action here in a minute. The DSP and P, that looks pretty good for the logo. Uh, it pretty much looks like it did. The numbers look fantastic. The only thing about the logo is it just seems, you know, I know it's small, but it doesn't seem very sharp. Whereas, like, the number, it's it's pretty sharp, but it's uh, it's much larger. Got the uh, the grease can sitting there. That's pretty cool. Look how detailed that thing is. Thing is tiny. Look at the look at the the rubbing the the bare metal on the edges of the handle. Ah, what's happening? Yeah, the driving rods look good. The bearings in between. My God, look at this. The nuts, these nuts. Wow. Wow! 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 Sand dome. Here's the uh, the Cook logo here, 1551 Patterson, New Jersey. Damn, that looks really nice. God, even this pipe right here, man. Wow, wow, wow. All right, first things first, whistle. Here we go. Sounds good. Do a distant sound. Ah, hold up. All right, so now I can't hear it. Moving forward and pressing. Dude, that sounds really nice. And the particle effect as well. Man. Alright, let's check out the bell. Now, I can't hear it. Um, I don't know if that's like the, the chest steam release going on there, covering it up. Huh. Hmm. 
Alright, we got more locos down the way. We'll try those out. Let's go ahead and hop in the cab here. So you got different camera angles. This is obviously the engineer side. You can open these uh, doors and windows. It's like all in one doohickey right here. Which is pretty cool. Front door, side window, this vent right here, and of course the uh, the back door as well. Don't mind my uh, field of view. That's 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 my jam. I got it. Uh, I got it really zoomed out here, so it looks funky sometimes. It's pretty nice. They don't make any noise, but you know, I'm, it's not. Uh, I'm not going to be screaming literally unplayable or anything. I honestly could care less about stuff like that. Uh, God, look at that lantern. Just the detailing on the lantern. It's got the, the newer Westinghouse uh, automatic brake, which is nice. It's even got the, uh, the emblem on there as well, the stamp. That looks very spicy. We'll go outside here. The firebox will let me open it. Will you let me open you? Yeah, it's it's not having it. I think I have it on automatic, which is probably why. Because who am I kidding? I'm not operating one of these things. But anyway, it opens up, and there is a fire inside, of course. Let's see if we can see it at some point here. Am I not doing it right? Most likely. Please do not use this video as a tutorial. I'm just looking at this. I hardly know what I'm doing. Anyway, there's a, a camera that goes up to the gauges. In which, cheesy crazy. Look at those gauges, man. Star Brass Manufacturing Co. Non Corrosive Boston. God, even the needles, dude. That's that's pretty hot, literally and figuratively. Um, that had to be hot as f sitting in here with this thing, man. Really, I'm sure it was. You had to be in shape to do this stuff. Here's the uh, whistle handle. Let's try the bell again. It's just really quiet. That's the thing. So when we were uh, dumping steam, you just couldn't really hear it. But that's a nice sound. And that is an authentic sound as well. It sounds nice. It really does. But yeah, the interior looks good as well. Um, I, I don't really know any of the, the keys. Um, sadly, I, I don't think there's a manual of sorts that come with, um, you know, what key does what. But it's pretty much the same overall, you know, just as with most train simulator. All right, we're going to go ahead and take off here and see if I can actually make it up to the roundhouse, which is all of maybe like a quarter of a mile uh, without destroying this thing, so. Alright, we'll give it a little bit of J-Bar. Let's see, probably 40 get us started. About 40, I cannot operate these things. Please bear with me. There's our brake. Oh, and we're rolling. Give it a little throttle. We'll drain some cocks. Steam engines are loud. Oh, listen to the, the creaking and whatnot. The joints. The groans. Pay no mind to the rolling stock back there. That's just the uh, clear creak stuff. We need to burn some of the steam. You have a minor grade here. Oh, that's a nice chuff.
Dude, these things look so good, though. So intricate. I know there's a lot of really good steam stuff out there. I'm, I'm just not into it as much as I am diesel electric. Um, but goodness gracious, this thing is beautiful. So there are two six O's, obviously. I don't know if I went over that part. Reason I randomly said that. <laughs> ah, I got the uh, firebox door open. Ow! Son of a biscuit. As soon as I get in here, they close it. <laughs> Alright, we'll see if we can still do head out and all that, for those of you that like doing that. Indeed you can. Other side as well. Alright, we'll try and uh, spank it on the hiney a little bit here. Still 1.3%. Clear Creek is not an easy place to operate steam engines, even with the, you know, the kind of basic steam engines that came with Clear Creek. Steam engines are just works of art in motion, living, breathing, metallic creatures. They're just, they're amazing to look at and listen to and just watch do their thing. Our sander handle here. as well. Alright, and there is the roundhouse where I have the other engines sat. We'll check those out in a minute. Alright, we'll put the brakes on this puppy and see how it uh see how it operates. So they are self lapping. Or not self-lapping, sorry. Manually lapped. Give it a little bit there. Start slowing her down. Oh, the clunk, man. These are absolutely gorgeous. So this was the more modern style engine, even though it still looks super old-timey and Wild Westy. Uh, they went with the straight stack on these older ones when they renamed them. I think they renumbered them. Sorry, not renamed them. 109, 110, and up. I'm just awestruck looking at this thing, just watching it work. Speechless. Looks amazing. See the leaf springs up in there. Good night. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The uh, axle oil, bearing oil boxes there. God, even the tender, man. Look at the chains. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. This thing looks amazing. And I don't usually take a look at stuff like this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. Just 
amazed, shell shocked, silent, which is rare. Got another can back here. Sweet. Shovel. Look at the shovel. Even that looks great. The coal spilling out. Did I? I did. Did I? Yeah, I did. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just realized that that's on backwards. Did I put that on backwards? Good God. What have I done? What have I done? All right. Let's pray at it and put all these on backwards. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right, that one. Uh-huh. Yeppers and yeppers. All right. I don't know how that one got on backwards. Probably happened when I was moving the uh, rolling stock around. Anyway, these are the other ones here. Um, this is the uh, the Congdon stacks. The, the big old thick boys. Which look pretty cool. This one here, I've got the the uh, smoke box door open. I'll show you how to open that too, by the way. Which they, they do line out on their... Um... No, don't start. That would be very not good, opening that when it's running. So here it is down here. It's your lever. Just pop that bad boy open and closed. God, even that. That is so crispy. That is so, so crispy. Pop it back open here. I love how you can see the bottom of the stack in here. Look at that, man. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. These things are so nice. Anyway, the 72 Congdon stack. Uh, over here, this is the fictional. Uh, it's just a fictional blue, and it looks good. I like it. I like the, uh, what do they call it, like the... the the hand leafing, or, or uh, what is it called? It's called leafing, something like that, right? Um, but anyway, the art on the stack, and the, the sandbox, and just all that. That looks nice as well. Dude, that's really nice. I like the color. I mean, even though it's fictional, it, you know, it looks nice. This is one of the newer ones here, so it's obviously renumbered. 110, it's got the straight stack. Uh, they're all essentially the same from what I know. Another Congdon. Now this one's got uh, some different... Uh, what is that called? It's going to bother me. It's like hand gold leafing or something like that. Um, it is slightly different. These things are just amazing. And it's, you know, it's something to run here on uh, Clear Creek. Some nice, nice little engines, little locomotives here. Two six O's and 12 bucks uh, from Machine Rail. I will, of course, link down below if you don't know where that's at. You can go and uh, grab these for yourself if you would so like to do so and choose. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at this with steam engines. I mean, I'm kind of bad at it regardless but steam engines like a whole nother level <laughs> I uh, I apologize uh, in advance but uh, these things look so damn good I just wanted to take a look at them uh, I hope I covered as as much um, is you know necessary to, to give you a general idea but uh, I believe that is gonna do it um, but that's all go check them out uh, I will link down below I'll see you next time guys take care